It's time to go. Your first Arab. Almost an entire news hour is dedicated to Arabs. Every conflict seems to have been started or maintained by us. On the news we appear chaotic, angry, with heavy accents, and passionate. Well, where did you meet your first Arab? At a family-run grocery, at a gas pump, or in a doctor's office, or investor's meeting, an antiquities summit, or at a nightclub behind a drum, or on television? Was it in reference to someone else? Were we fighting with someone? Was there a clash of civilizations? Or were we cooking your kebab? I'm sure you have met some by now. And of course, you asked her or him about themselves. Important, thrillingly existential questions like, what is the secret to smooth hummus? If a woman wears a headscarf, isn't it too warm? Does every woman dance like Shakira? Is belly dance an example of safe sex? How much does gas cost in Lebanon? Do men have pants over there? Wouldn't it make more sense to wear shorts? Do they teach you how to make bombs in middle school? Is a camel friendly? Do people steal your sandals at the mosque? And then finally, a question worth answering. Why did everyone in multiple countries revolt at the same time? Let me give you a summary. on his throne, we sit on his stool. We were born, he was already there. General, diplomat, black dyed hair. Forced to vote for him again, he sends our soccer players to Mecca if they win. Tiny playground on a short leash, never pays a salary, only backsheesh. Making war with an old gun, King gets on TV, tells us we've won. Forced to love him like a sultan, king, prophet, pharaoh, or champion. Mullahs, presidents, and kings, different names with the same meanings. Newspaper, radio, and the TV tells us how free we wouldn't want to be. We'll criticize him never. He's the reason for our perfect weather. And we're so poor now, and we should be, because in heaven we'll get eternity. But even somehow we have not ate. The king man wants to be richer than Bill Gates. Ya Allah. Sex and are rich, says the satellite. Typing, seeking, Google searching. The rest of the world seems to be working. But with all of this knowledge, where do we go? The internet is mainly used for poor. And we try to do better, go to the university. But all we can afford is shisha and tea. We must buy an apartment so we can marry, which means we won't have sex for eternity. We become religious brothers or just have hash dreams. We only have the choice of these two extremes. Frustration with the king and his caravan. If we weren't so distracted, we'd make a plan. Until one day from Tunis, a fruit man was beaten along with his fruit stand. He didn't give a bribe, police revoked his permit, so he took his own body and he burned it. All of Tunis inhaled his smoke and the plan became to revolt.
of revolution Watching the Tunis smoky plan Well if Tunis can do it then Egypt can Tens of millions in frustration Shouldn't we take back our dear nation Message, pics, tweets and stream But most important, chant and scream Get together in the big square Every kind of person covered and open hair The pharaohs, police and the paid thugs Usually only used to control drugs they use their bribes and the people beaten But the people beaten are not leaving The army came in but would not attack Cause the army and the people are in a pact And the pharaoh king soon lost his country And the Egyptian people kept their dignity But Bahrain, Libya, Syria not so joyous The king's armies want to destroy us Even Egypt too became complicated But we won't let it get reconfiscated This is the spring with the doves on fire If the king attacks us, smoke gets higher and the Arab youth will not grow old Bakshish cannot make the free soul soul Not for America or the neighbors religion Religious parties or party labors Only for us this revolution This smoke is not an illusion Only for us this revolution This smoke is not an illusion Only for us this revolution This smoke is not an illusion Yallah Yalla yalla Pull inshallah From Kuwait to Casablanca All the young arms Rising up your first in Tunis Then came Cairo Yalla 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 from Kuwait to Casablanca All the young ones rising up here yeah. First in Tunis, then came Cairo What Arabs do for fun. You should know what we do for fun, for recreation. You can see our personality from what makes us laugh, shout, and cry while smiling. We have fun by talking politics in a small room, yelling at someone who probably agrees with us. We have fun by smoking a water pipe, 10% tobacco, 10% smashed old fruit, 10% brown water, 20% charcoal, and the rest gray smoke. We have fun by watching football, the one that uses feet, played between two small elite sporting clubs with deadly animosity. We have fun by clapping to every song, loud clapping, clapping louder than the poor singer can sing. We have fun by eating, overeating, liver, rice with mixed beef and chicken, green slimy soup, any kind of crushed bean, muddy coffee, and sugar water. We even enjoy crowding a hospital room full of everyone we know around the bed of our sick loved one. We have fun standing on a sidewalk with our friends commiserating about a lack of fun. We have fun telling jokes, laughing until we cough. Almost anything can be funny if said seriously. We have fun playing cards or backgammon, but only if we place our cards or dice on the table with a loud thud. We have fun watching music videos on a phone or satellite screen, hearing the latest love song or street song, reading texts between Ahmed and Marwa, scrolling below the singer's face. And we have the most fun when we dance, Sometimes Egyptian style with the hips, sometimes Gulf style with the hair, sometimes North African style with the shoulders, and sometimes Near East style with the stomping feet. Shouting a melody Holding a hand because 
How about the stomp is hefty? Look at the girls and they are dancing in the high heels. They are tough yet sexy, it's the real deal. Look at the guys and each one dancing like a man. Swinging the kufia and low to the ground. Right palm faces up and the left down. Hold each other's hands and walk around. Making a big circle or a long line. All will stomp together at the right time. This is the dance for everyone called Debki. We stomp so hard, we're in hysterics. This is a lesson one of our lyrics. Near East Arabs, well this is what we do Come and do a dub here with us, we want to teach you Dancing for a wedding or a half Or not to back down solidarity We do a dub key at a raging party And we do a dub key to obstruct the army We bring down the house with our stomping sound But your bulldozer won't knock our house down Dance for a mullah and jebel banana for Aleppo, Baghdad, and Amman. This is the dance that'll help us have elation. Oh, this is the dance that'll help us save our nation. This is the dance for everyone called Dabki. Stomping to the sound of the Dabli. Singing or shouting a melody. Holding hand because we are family. This is the dance for everyone called Dabki. Stomping to the sound of the Dabli. Singing or shouting. Reorientalism. Simultaneously dangerous and attractive, there are so many fanciful stories that we hear about ourselves. Tales, fables, myths, parables. We are a Hollywood movie, or 52 Weekends of Halloween, a reorientalism. Westerners are fascinated by this East. Where castles are built by desert nomads, where gold is found in the sand, men wear a turban and ride a camel or stallion, rugged individualists within a tribe, women dance with their bellies, showing only their eyes in public, competing in a harem of sister concubines. Go and watch the Aladdin cartoon movie and see how one loses their eye or die. Or how in every movie, the villain is dark with an accent. I guess that's us. Where Arabian isn't just Saudi Arabian, it is every Arab, Persian, Indian, and maybe Chinese or Thai. But now the camel is traded for a Mercedes and the sword for sunglasses. The harem pants replaced with burqa. Frankincense is replaced with oil. Nonetheless, we are still an Orientalist oil painting. But now the snake and pipe also include a gun and bomb. And our sultry laugh is also a cackle against an infidel. How fascination travels from the love of caravan romance to terror and profiling, all on the hoofs of a camel? Fantasy is a type of stereotype. Stereo. Two speakers, one for either ear, telling you to both desire and fear. Bob is 
Bazaar, home to Hocus Pocus by Frankincense, Hookah, Lotus or Hummus. Omar the Magician and Abdullah the Genie use their sorcery to weaponize Tahini. Names are longer than the Silk Road, and the camel teams can carry any load. A discount import oriental rug store is where they plan the holy carpet war. Quest for the black gold Don't want their religion Only want their money Simultaneously dangerous and sexy Oriental carpet makes for good decorage But it's not comfy for Oriental massage Would Shahrazad give me an exotic dance In Casablanca, Alhambra or France Dela Dela, Qua Qua Painted naked heron's face Ava Ava place, place south of Europe Yet labeled East Arabian, Persian, Indian, Chinese style Close enough for a carpet to fly The east goes from Morocco to Japan But the west goes from Austria to Washington Anything exotic is labeled the Orient And most of the world lives in that nomad's tent And no one would trade their trees for sand The west is happy to just broker the land Often fascinated and intermittently loyal While filling their lamp with Arabian oil Oriental This is Arab love. There is Arab love, true admiration for us and our faults and wonders, coming from the Westerners. Do you love our men? With hair everywhere except the head. Charming, defending, flattering, with a romantic ride on a stallion scooter moped. Do you love our women? Speaking to anyone in a handful of languages, working, protesting, holding the family together with hummus and concern. Do you love our children? Smiling even when hungry, ready to show you how to find the train or toilet, happy to have a foreign friend. Do you love our monuments? Tall, slender obelisks, large, supernatural triangles, square stones where pilgrims congregate, long rivers and short trees, every shape you would ever want to worship. Do you love our food? Medium, spicy, layered, smeared, fresh and oily, all words that can describe other pleasures. Do you love our music? Heavy, dramatic, rhythms like diet Africa, melodies like supersized Asia. Lyrics painful, but always a survivor. Do you love our dance? Slow but not lazy, sensuous but not slutty, happy but not silly. Do you love how we sound, even when we yell? Do you hate traffic except when you visit us? Do you hate crowds except when it is filled with our bodies? Do you now somehow like dust, crumbling buildings, hazy heat, urban farm animals, reused water bottles for juice, repurposed garbage, 24-hour sound, a city frantic and unwound? For some Westerners, we can redefine love by overpopulating your heart. Hey, princess, what do you love? Cairo. Exploding like my senses, melting in the heat like my heart. Cairo, exploding like my senses, melting in the heat like my heart. The incendiary golden dawn. The incendiary golden dawn of a new day, a new era. The Sphinx. A new era. The Sphinx. The Sphinx squinting in the white hot desert. Its inscrutable face. Its inscrutable face destroyed. Metropolis. Metaphor for a metropolis of grandeur and decay. A code I can't quite decipher. A code I can't quite decipher. A puzzle forever unsolved. I see a satellite dishes mounted on the roofs of ruined.
smell of truck buildings. Brick, brick, brick and rebar apartment houses stretching towards the gradient sky and to the desert. And from the past, from the past to the future. A syncopated, a syncopated symphony of chaos and logical confusion. Logical confusion. Grinding, rolling, sandy sea. Taxi, Taxi crammed minivans, cement trucks, buses with broken headlights, and mopeds loaded with a family of three. Donkey carts stacked with melons creaking along Al Mansuria Canal. Tinny Egyptian pop songs spun through trash speakers. Cairo from all angles, exploding like my senses, melting in the heat like my heart. Hanakalili Ali. Slinky shadows, shadows, stray cats, veiled women sliding by like silent like phantoms. Silent phantoms. An apparition, An apparition. A rip in the continuum of space and time. Bint al Baladi, a shark in Judd's clothing. A shark. Bint al Baladi, I see Cairo through mascara black lashes in your green. Bint al Baladi, a shark in Judd's clothing. A shark in Judd's clothing. Bint al Baladi, I see Cairo through mascara black lashes in your green. Shaya al Haram. Haram. Diesel drenched fluorescence, effervescent. effervescent. The citadel presiding over Al Arafah, Manshiat, Manshiat, Nasser. Shisha, Shisha smoke, smoke. smoke. The smell of cooking, kosher, and burning trash. And burning trash. Children's voices and unkulthum mobile ringtones carrying mobile phone ringtones carrying on the breeze. Cairo, Nile riot. Nile riot. Frantic neon shabby boats. Floating carnival starting under the 6th October bridge. Cairo is swirling like my senses, melting in the heat like my heart. Cairo is swirling like my senses, melting in the heat like my heart. Cairo is swirling like my senses, melting in the heat like my heart. I know you so well, but I'll never really know you. Secrets, city of secrets. secrets. Your transparent madness, like a muzin's call. I, I, I am devoted. devoted. I am devoted. Everybody I know is coming, and we're going to keep demonstrating peacefully, even if we get attacked by the police forces. We are peaceful, and we're going to keep on protesting peacefully until our demands are met. I'm devoted. Earn, learn, return. Many want to come to America. Many want to escape into the movie. Find a life of less struggle. A place with more open space. A country more free, if that word is even understood. Where the news is objective, as long as the station owner doesn't object. A job market with opportunity, as long as you fit the community. A place to either flaunt or forget your religion. A place to earn money, educate your children, stay forever, or collect and retreat. Arabs are everywhere in America, with passports and baseball hats, eating all beef hot dogs with baba ganoush garnish, with the freedom to wear a bikini or a hijab, religious or hipster beard, to vote for the absolute best possible leader among two choices instead of one, to travel without a checkpoint or gunpoint except at a bank or airport, the freedom to marry any religion or gender, to be defended even when you have offended someone, but even though it is democratic, it is not automatic. And not everyone succeeds in this diaspora. The competition is intense. Competition for the highest positions and for the welfare assistance. Maybe a street boy there will become a corporate man here. Or maybe a public defendant there will become a gas attendant here. Aladdin, the fairy tale movie, becomes Aladdin, the restaurant kitchen. Yes, many survive and rise. But some should just take what did they earn, learn, and return. Was a immigrant in America Serving canned hummus It's a junk junk And so he left Aladdin back to Cairo Now he drives his own tuk-tuk He worked 18 hours Just broke even Spare cash bar hookah Smoke, smoke And so he's back in the homeland Self-employed with a Rimped out man And he tuk-tuk He begged to have a visa
visa and get out of Giza Tired of all the poverty and the favoritism lottery Years of education, loving Egyptian nation Wanted to do better, wanted to wear leather pants and act the way he wants Doesn't know what he wants, he only sees it on the internet Satellite and spotlight, all the glitzy lifestyle Never find that near the Nile Dating girls easy, don't have to meet their family Ride the cheapest one-way plane to Disney Here I am in the USA Waiting for his money, pay a day And still waiting, 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 waiting Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 wait Wait, was a immigrant in America Serving camp on my sister, John, John So we left on love and back to Cairo Now he drives us on hook top We worked 18 hours, just broke even A spare cash bought hookah smoke, smoke And so he's back in the homeland Self-employed with a pimp out malady hook top his diploma was worthless, it had no equivalent Years of engineering here is only good for steering trucks or lifting boxes Not chic enough for your New York foxes yeah. Working in the kitchen, washing dishes and bitching Living in the neighborhood that smells the least good A broken English ghetto slum alone with everyone Wearing heavy winter coat Chosen to be frozen joke And slightly worse than Cairo B because he has no family And isn't it funny how the act of chasing money Can leave a person so damn lonely was a immigrant in America Serving care from us It's a junk junk And so he left on that And back to Cairo Now he drives his own tuk-tuk But he worked 18 hours Just broke even Spare cash bought Smoke, smoke, smoke And so he's back in the homeland Self-employed with a pimped out Valedy tuk-tuk Moving back to Cairo he only left two years ago Money in his galabeya Not enough to make him stay in. He missed his own people Wanted to see both minarets and steeples But all his experience had meaning He learned about dealing All that he endured made him an entrepreneur So he bought a moil rickshaw It can't go fast nor far Egyptians call it tuk-tuk Blasting all the smoke smoke Taking people down the street In case they hate to use their feet But he wants no more long trips on airplanes or ships He just wants to personalize his tuk-tuk that flies down the Harra and the Zukak Blast and Sha'abi Beledi Rats O Beledi, O Belelah and you were a pita, I would spread myself all over you. Yet food is not all we, we can, can do. do. I am not Aladdin, Jafar, or Jasmine. These cartoons I have never been. And his real name is Ali Din. I can curse my leader. The beater beats me with his totalitarian hand. But I still will never curse, curse my, my land. land. In Cleveland, Katowice, or Guangzhou, any city I perform my Arabic show, I joy when someone yells, Yakimo! Because the Arab may often change their clothes, passport, or name, but their hairy arms remain, remain the, the same. same. My name is Karim, it means generous, and survivor is what Nagi means, generously surviving false, false dreams. dreams. Because if I am ever asked a question, at a calm a moment or gasping frantic, am I a person proud to be Arabic? Arabic? Whether fashionable or totally hated, one day shouting mad bomber scary, one day sexy dancing revolutionary. Yes, yes. even when poor, yes. yes, even when wealthy, yes. yes. 
Even when at the height of my fame, yes, yes. even at the depths of any shame. We are not bombers, terror insurgents. We are not sultan sorcerers or a genie. We are not hummus, pita, falafel, or, or tahini. tahini. But we made all of these, and those too. Arabs are imperfect much of the time, but equally capable of acting divine. divine. 22 countries attract eyes, an entire world observes how we act, and only we can decide what, what is, is fact. fact. Moroccan, Algerian, Tunisian, Egyptian, Libyan, Iraqi, Lebanese, Mauritanian, Jordanian, Sudanese, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Comoros, Yemen, Qatar, Emirat, Somali, Bahrain, Djibouti, Kuwait, Syria, Palestine, I am Arab even when American. You can buy hummus at a market, but you cannot pay me to forget.